Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2. I'm Nye, and we are still working on mini games. Uh, we still have one left to do in Twilight Town, apart from the one skateboard event here. And uh, that's called Poster Duty. This is a really hard one where you really need to have uh, level 3 glide and level 3... Um, uh, level 3 uh, double jump, basically. What you want to do, and I'm doing a terrible job of it, you want to glide... You want to jump and glide, basically, to hit all of these spots fast. The reason you want glide is because it's going to get you to where you need to go faster, and you want double jump to give you access to the higher areas uh, around here. Because you can double jump immediately upon putting down a poster. But I'm doing a terrible job of this because I don't have a route to, that I use, and a lot of people, you know, they learn a route before they do this. So I'm, you know, sitting here looking for the poster locations, which is not what you want to be doing. I'm almost done. I don't know what the uh, timer is on this. Something tells me it's a lot faster than I did it. Let's find out. Nope. Okay, so what's the timer on that? Looks like I didn't get it. 30 seconds! Wow! That's, um, that's fast. <laughs> and I did 55 seconds, so we're gonna have to figure out uh, this out a lot faster. Now, part of the problem was I flailed around a lot. Uh, so we gotta figure something out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the left first. And I'm, uh, f still flailing around a lot. This does not seem to be a good thing. Whoa, that's... Yeah, I'm just, I'm going to flat out retry. Uh, the left side does not seem to be helpful, so I'm going to go to the right side instead. Let's grab this one. That one. Yeah, because this seems to have a lot more uh, posters immediately available to you. Now, is there any more, like, three poster areas? That's my question. Let's go all the way over here. Yes, there's one right here that I could have gotten. Now I have to get somehow get ten posters in ten seconds. And uh, I don't find this particularly likely, personally. I'm, up to, I'm able to get up to 15. But, um... Okay, the question is... Let me, let me take, uh, take a chance to look around a little bit and see... Is there any spot around here that has another three poster spot? If there is, I want to make it on my route... So just look around real quick. Because frankly, this seems pretty, you know, fairly impossible to me. I mean, of course it's not. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that's the three poster spot I want to hit. Okay, let's grab this one. Poster, poster, poster. Also poster. Also poster. Poster, poster, poster. Poser. Wait, I didn't say anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's grab this over here. This over here. This over here. This over here. I feel as if I missed one. I think I missed a... Th yeah, I think I missed something big. Okay, let's grab this. Now you're gonna see me skip one because I don't think that one's worth the time it takes to get to it. Let's go this way. I think I missed these three last time. It's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and. Okay, so that didn't work. Um, are there any other groups of three? Let's take a look real quick. And this is a long way out of the way if I had to go. There's a group of three over here, but that's a long ways out of the way. Okay, let's try. This is one of the only things I have left to do on Twilight Town, so it's worth, uh, it's worth going to. It's worth redoing a lot. Grab this one. 
Grab that one. One, two, and three. That's that's just time lost right there. Okay, grab that. Grab these. Because I think what I need to do is hit those other three that are all the way over there. I think that'll be worth it. I just skip like one or two of these poster spots in order to get those three. Those th where, where's where's that set of oh that set of three is all the way over there. Uh, that never mind that might not be worthwhile. Let me try uh oh, not what I want to do. I'm gonna try something slightly different. Grab this one. Those three. That one. That one. Trying to get this route going here. Oh, that was the completely wrong direction. Is there a three in here? Nope, that's completely wrong. Wow, this is a lot harder than I expected it to be. And landed, which means I lost a lot of time just getting going again. the wrong way. I, I know I'm trying to be I'm being like very perfectionist here but it feels like this is if there's any mini game you are perfectionist in it's this one because there's so little time to do a monumental task that one I just landed for basically to pick up might not even be worth picking up I keep on getting to 18. I, I is there is there a set of three I'm missing somewhere that would make this a lot easier? Let's go ahead and skip that one over there in favor of these, because that might save some time. The question is, I'm not no, I don't know if I'm saving time or if I'm just missing them. Nineteen. Nineteen. No, there's not another one. Oh, if I... Okay. Hold on. That route actually worked. Grab this guy right here. This guy. This guy. This guy. Come on, Sora. Don't fail me now. That was an absolute fail route. I don't know where I went. Come on. I can do this. I can do this. This is not as hard as I'm making it out to be. I couldn't even see those to put those on there, but I'm glad that Sora knows what he's doing because I haven't a clue, which I think is very obvious to anybody who's watching this. Let's grab these. Drop to the ground. Pick back up. No! I... No. That... Nope. Oh, this is depressing. Grab that. Are there any other groups of three that I'm missing that would be really easy for me to add to my route? Because that's... I feel like that's what I'm missing. Like, one group of three. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen... And there's another one up there, but it's too far away for me to get. It seems like you have to be very fluid in it. You have to be you have to know exactly where you're going, and you have to not waste any time. Like for instance, me wasting time to pick that up. Not sure if that's actually gonna be worth it. But it does bring me closer to the ground, which I need to be to go to that next one, so maybe it'll work out. 
17, 18, 19, tw oh, 26 seconds, or point 26, not even 26 seconds, point 26 off, I can totally beat that. That's like just setting up a small thing, that's like landing a jump perfectly when you didn't land it perfectly before, I mean, that's that's how small that is. You can you can get rid of 0.26 seconds anywhere. That will get rid of 0.26 seconds for you. But that's what I have to do. That's it's that right there. But that will get rid of 0.26 seconds. I'm I'm trying, guys. I'm trying my hardest. This is actually really hard. I keep on screwing up that jump right there. I've got to, you know, double jump into another glide, and I'm missing that glide. There we go. And you got to double jump, because the double jump's what gets you most of the speed. The glide just maintains it, but the double jump gets that speed going. Almost there. Yes! 29.56! Done! Whew! That felt good. That felt... It feels really good to finish that off. Okay, um... So with those done, now I need to look around. I think I need to go, is it up here? Or is it, no, hold on. Is it this person? Okay. So all I need to do is earn a bunch of points. It's another one of those earn points things. Oh, I only get five. Oh, I only get five tries in this one. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's quit this and see how many. So you only get to touch the ground five times this time. And that's uh, that doesn't seem particularly hard. How many uh, how many points do I need to get? Do a thousand. Okay, that seems um, that seems doable. No, I want to ride the skateboard. I would I would love to ride the skateboard. Okay. So let's jump on here. Press this button a bunch. Press here. Get press this button a bunch. Got a new record. One more should do it. There it is. Well, uh, that was... That one was easy. I'm not worried about that one. So that should be... Uh, that should be everything. Uh, that should be all of the... Kind of... Normal... Um, Minigames done. How'd that go? Okay. So the next thing I need to do uh, is I need to go to the sand lot. So now this is one of the more annoying things, and um, I don't know how much this I'm going to show on screen because it just takes forever. But um, what you got to do is you got to talk to this guy. No, talk to... There we go. What you have to do is you have to do a struggle battle against Hainer, Setzer, and Cypher. The problem is, you're not allowed to do just one. Like, you can't just beat Hainer once and you're done. The game isn't that polite. What you have to do is you have to beat the crap out of Hainer, like, ten times, in order to unlock Setzer. And then you have to beat the crap out of Setzer ten times before you can move on to uh, 
Cypher. It, it takes it takes forever. Like, this is really, really annoying. So that's number one. Now, remember, when you uh, if you want to save some time, and actually, I really wish uh, I have a lot of my combos turned off, which would have made this a lot easier. If you want to save some time, uh, simply getting all 100, or all 200 orbs, that alone will make this fast. And uh, because I have... I have draw and the draw ring equipped. That's getting me the orbs really easily, so I don't have to really worry about hunting them down. I just have to smack the crap out of uh, Hainer and just get rid of all of his orbs, which I'm almost done with. But if I had my combos set up and I don't, that would make this a lot, lot faster because I would never have to stop attacking. Uh, how many was that? Was that three or four? Because I want to set my, I want to get my combos going. Let's go look. That was uh, three. Okay. Let's go into our abilities, Sora. Um, that doesn't seem right. Do I have negative combo on right now? Yes, that's that's what's going on. Okay. And uh, I do not want Berserk Charge on. That's what I have on that I don't want. Okay. So this uh, this should be fine. So I gotta do this another seven times. And I gotta do Cypher ten times. So it's not gonna all happen in this one episode. Uh, I think Setzer and Cypher is gonna happen on its own. Okay, see, this this should make things a lot easier. Especially since I'll, I'll have the finisher, or I'll have the, uh, yeah, I'll have finishers. Now one thing you can do, there's my last one, so that makes number four. One thing you can do is you can, um, if you are able to take down all of their HP, it will put them in a stun position for a while, and then you could just go ahead and grab all the orbs that you haven't gotten already at your leisure. It's not necessarily needed. Wow, he actually got some hits on me. I mean, it's not going to help him, but... Eh, great, he got some orbs. This is going to take a little bit longer than usual. And then if I remember correctly, uh, the game wants you to beat Hainer, Setzer, and Cypher by a certain margin... Uh, I just, I can't remember what the margins are. I think it's, it's a building margin. It's like, they want you to beat Hainer by 100, Setzer by like 125 or 150, and then Cypher by 150, 175, 200, I don't know. But it's, uh, it's generally pretty easy. They're no harder than they were to start the games. It's the exact same fights you did at the start of the game. Where are those last two orbs? There they are. So, you know, you can get them done within seconds, which is uh, exactly what I'm doing here. It's just you have to do a lot of them, and it, ta it just takes some time. It's annoying. It's another one of those, you know, what were they thinking in creative design moments? No, no, no. You give me those orbs. There we go. Uh, I think that was six. This should be seven. Continue doing this. It doesn't take very long. And again, if you have the uh, if you have stuff like um uh like explosion set up and uh, double uh like double finishers, uh that should be seven. If you have that sort of stuff set up, it makes this a lot easier because you can just dish out a ton of damage. As you can see, when I do uh when I do explosion on Hainer, um I would like to get all my orbs back, please. When you do explosion on Hainer, you get rid of just all of his remaining orbs. Like, that one combo gets all 200, all 100 of his orbs. And add that together with what you have. That should have been 8. Uh, that will make life a lot easier for you. Let's see if that actually... Yep, see? He's down to 0. And uh, just the problem is if he happens to pick any up. But as long as you have that, as I said, draw and uh, draw ring going, you're going to grab all the orbs from a considerable distance. So we'll continue doing this. Oh, there's, there's the 200th one over here. Okay, that should have been nine, so we'll do one more, and then we're going to be done with Hainer. And uh, the struggle matches are the last thing we have to do in Twilight Town, and then it's just... You know, minigame-wise, we're just looking at um the Coliseum. And then, of course, you know, gummy missions, but 
gummy missions. For gummy missions, they're a, neat, they're a unique game unto themselves, and I love them, so I'm not considering them to be part of anything else. Okay, let's see. Did I... Oh, why am I looking in here? I need to look over here. How many missions have I done against Hayner? I did 13, apparently. Uh, so I lost track at some point. That's good. Uh, Setzer's open. But that's going to be it for us. Uh, next episode, I will finish doing Setzer. Uh, I will do um, I will do Cypher, of course. And uh, then from there, we're going to... Uh, I'll probably head back to the Olympic... Well... I'll probably go do some research on exactly how to get points in the Coliseum. And then I'll go back to um, the Coliseum and see about getting uh, some of those points done. And uh, we'll... Uh, We'll go from there. So, um, yeah, that's uh, that's about it for me, guys. Next time I see you, we'll finish this up, and then we'll go to the Coliseum. Ta-ta.